Solo PvP in Sea of Thieves can be described as a great many things, not the least of which is difficult. Fighting ships bigger than your own is a common occurrence, and I don't think you need me telling you that not every such fight can necessarily be won. The benefit? Solo snooping is the absolute fastest way to get better at Sea of Thieves. And with a PvP-focused Season 8 right around the corner, getting better is exactly what I needed. But my day didn't actually start off going around looking for fights, it was just gonna be another session of emissary grinding when suddenly a galleon approached me. Trust me, when I say that, not all galleons we'll come across today are gonna be that friendly, but for the time being, I decided to indulge their request and join their alliance. Feeling like I was under the protection of a watchful guardian, I went about collecting trinkets in the name of Athena's fortune. I keep saying it, but these cosmetics ain't gonna grind themselves. And for a couple hours, everything was going great! Well, besides the tiny complication of when I found out that flipping my voyage made the loot I got disappear. Once I learned that the ship graveyard portion of the Legend of the Veil voyage provided a decent amount of fish and gems which I could sell to the hunter's call, my priority shifted away from trying to grind out my Athena ledger. Unfortunately, I still had my Athena emissary flag up, which marked my demise as a Reaper 5 galleon portal hopped onto my server. The moment I saw these guys roll up, I knew I was done for. I made a half-hearted attempt to slow them down in hopes of being able to get to the sea post to sell at least a few of my items, but all my struggle was futile in the face of a blunderbuss. Coming back from the ferry, I barely even had a chance to orient myself. The guy was right behind me as I spawned, and before I I could even react, I was already double gunned back onto the afterlife. More than being frustrated about losing the fight, I was definitely very salty about them stealing my fish. And the cherry on top was the fact that by the time my ship respawned, there was another rank 5 reaper that had portal hopped to take the fight to this galleon. And this was the moment, dear viewers, that I decided no more. I will never lose my fish ever again only because I'm bad at PvP. I had to get better. It was then that I decided to go out and fight the next Reaper Emissary I see, ship sized be damned. Which of course was yet another galleon. Thankfully for me, it didn't seem like they took me seriously, because I got away sailing around their broadside without them taking any shots. With two out of three masts down, I began setting up a death spiral to continue laying into their vessel. By then they realized that they should probably fight back. Unfortunately for them, I had got my hands on a cursed cannonball of the peace variety, allowing me to put their cannons out of commission as I sailed past their broadside side again. The fight was absolutely going in my favor, but I knew that just keeping this up was not gonna be good enough. I had to get onto their ship and stop them from repairing, otherwise this was never gonna end. After making sure that my ship was dry and repaired, I fired over to take the fight to them. Even if they weren't gonna be sweaty, there's four of them and just one of me, making it an uphill battle. They obviously saw me coming, awaiting my arrival at the top of their ladder to deny entry onto their galleon. One of these nutcases even went as far as jumping into the ocean to fight me head to head, an encounter I barely managed to end on top of. Things definitely didn't look up for me as this crew continued to throw themselves at me like some kind of pirate themed Left 4 Dead spin-off. When I finally clawed my way up the ladder, I had but a single chance to start turning this in my favor, chasing one of them down for a swift execution. But that victory did not last because I was blasted off that ship by a blunderbuss of their own, followed up by more of them diving down to get rid of me. And I really wasn't kidding when I compared this to a zombie game. I'm wasting my food. Oh god, goodness gracious, man. The jump scares were absolutely real, but thanks to the sword definitely working as intended, I bought myself another chance to get onto that galleon. First course of action was dropping their anchor to make sure they can't get away, followed up by me raiding their food supply. Unfortunately, it took me too long to get rid of them, meaning all the damage I dealt was already repaired. Fire was my only chance to win this now, but respawns were imminent. They successfully cornered me before I could replenish my ammunition, and with only a sword to fight that entire crew, it was not looking good for me. After slicing up the dude with a red jacket, I ended up overwhelmed by the rest of their crew, sending me back to the Fairy of the Damned. I was excited about getting some PvP practice in, though little did I know what awaited me upon my next respawn. Oh, I forgot to put it into a spin! I was such an idiot! A novice mistake upon solo PvPers had cost me my position. By the time I turned around, all their mass would be back up, and let's just say that without my cursed cannonballs, getting broadsided became increasingly more dangerous. It was obvious that they were tired of me running circles around them in naval combat, but what happened next definitely was not supposed to happen. What? How does it go into me? Excuse me, what? 
Oh. How does me blunder bombing them turn them into me? That makes no sense. I was obviously frustrated. Hitting the front of that ship with my blundies was supposed to turn them away from me. But just like my sword before, things were definitely working as intended. But I had one more trick up my sleeve. The power of bullshit. Because you see, my choice of loadout was not a random one. The sword and the blunderbuss are the two easiest weapons to cheese your way through a combat encounter. And let's be real, I'm not gonna win this by skill alone, so cheese was definitely needed. I charge towards my enemies through fire and brimstone. Who needs to be good at PvP anyway when I can just tape down my left click and W towards my opponents with reckless abandon? I had saved my vessel at last and at that point I was certain that they would definitely stop underestimating me. Despite their overwhelming numbers, I had bested them in naval and I had bested them in close combat. I just had to remain calm and repeat what I had done before. Though let me tell you guys one thing I had kind of forgotten at the time. A wounded beast makes for a dangerous foe. Don't get one bullet again. Okay, I've never seen this play. They literally have me cornered now. <laughs> what the? Ah, oh, the blunder. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> It was obvious that I had struck a nerf. I guess you can get outplayed by a solo only so often before you tilt. I definitely should have seen the ramming play coming, but this was not meant to be the last they saw of me. The best combatants are fortunate fires of combat, and I had a feeling that defeating them would make for a great stepping stone towards my improvement. So I went to stock up on some supplies before heading out to do it better this time. The only problem was that they had wisened up. When I came back, they straight up refused to engage in naval battle with me, knowing that I had them beat. which doesn't mean they weren't trying to go for more ramming plays again because hey that's how they got me last time. I knew that unless I put myself in a very vulnerable position there was no way for me to win this fight. Which is when I spotted another galleon off in the distance. Only because I'm a solo player does not mean I have to fight alone so I made my way over to that crew to begin recruiting them for my cause. Hello! Anyone here? I was just asking what you guys are up to because there is a reaper galleon with a bunch of loot and I can't beat them on my own so I was wondering if you guys want to team up against them. What's it a, a ship with red seals? Those guys killed us and stole all our loot. Wanna team up against them? Oh, hell yeah. We had found common ground. I felt confident that this alliance would be of more use to me than the last one at the start of my session. That Athena galleon never came to help me, so this time it was gonna be different. We stocked up on a new batch of supplies before heading out towards our final fight, except what began as an epic rollout towards the Reapers ended in a bit of a clown fiesta. Surely they're not gonna ram me, right? We're off to a great start! Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't think we're winning this fight. And I was destined to be correct, albeit for the wrong reasons. By the time we shuffled our way towards the Reaper, they had already finished selling all of their loot and had logged off. Determined to not finish my session without sinking a ship, I made way towards the next best target, which was yet another Reaper emissary, this time at a sea fort. We battled back and forth until my galleon friends arrived, after which they decided to not stick around. Though even after the galley logged off, this brigantine decided that fighting wasn't something they were interested in, and as such, they used their warp speed to simply get the heck out of there. Truly, the biggest struggle of solo PvP is not losing fights against other crews, but having no way to chase them down should they decide to bail out. Thankfully, that's gonna be a thing of the past in Season 8, thanks to the introduction of Battle Areas, which are scheduled to release today, actually. But if getting into the thick of it is a bit too hot for you, what about you check out my video on how to avoid danger while still making money? Simply follow the card on screen right now. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching, and until next time. Peace.